to the the western wall the remnants of the jewish temple in the place where the divine presence rests on that side but our journey today our tour today shalom dear ones it's veronica and today we are in the holy city the dwelling of god where the shekinah glory of god rests so on that side is where the western wall is that was where the temple was the holiest place for the jewish people the holiest place of worship so today we are we are starting our our trip at Dag Gate. Dag Gate and Dag Gate is mentioned in the book of Nehemiah, the prophet. Remember prophet Nehemiah was a cup bearer uh, serving the king when they were in exile let's first read this the gate was originally a small wicked gate built by Suleiman the Magnificent it is named after the gate mentioned in the book of Nehemiah ne Nehemiah chapter 2 look at this That is so on that side we have the city of David where the palace of King David was and where the pool of Siloam was I'm going to do a video one of these days about the pool of Siloam but today we are ascending to the mountain of the Lord, Mount Zion. So on this, from there, that side, from that side is the Western Wall. That is the Dark Gates. So guys, today we are ascending or we are climbing Mount Zion, Mount Zion, Mount Zion is the dwelling of God. Anytime I visit uh, the holy city and I come to Mount Zion, I feel such special joy. Sometimes even when I'm feeling down, you know, this life sometimes to put you in a place where you feel so much down. When I come to Mount Zion, I feel such a relief, you know, it's like, I remember that song that says, lead me to the lock that is higher than I. And when I come to Mount Zion and I'm climbing Mount Zion, I feel that uh, my spirit, my spirit is lifted up. So Mount Zion, Zion is a place of singing. Zion is a place of joy. Zion is the dwelling of the Lord. So let us climb to the hills of Zion, to the city of the living God, to the city of the living God, to the city of the living God. So let us climb to the hills of Zion. To the city of the living God For the ark of testimony is in his heart Look at that On that side, very far, that side where you can see the, the cemetery That is Mount of Olives, Mount of Olives 
another holy mountain uh, in the book of uh, Nehemiah chapter 2 the Jews are in exile in Persia or in today's Iran and Nehemiah was like a governor to, to the king the king's name was Otaxasis and Nehemiah the prophet was his cup bearer so he had so much favor with the king and as he was serving him uh, the king noticed that he's, he's down his, his spirit was down and he asked him why is your spirit so low and you are not sick and if you read the story, read the story in the book of Nehemiah, chapter 2, from, uh, you can read from chapter 1, chapter 2. And then uh, Nehemiah gets a favor from the king and he was given permission to come and uh, rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. And look at the wall. This is the wall of Jerusalem. By then, and Nehemiah, in the book of Nehemiah, we find that Jerusalem was, uh, Jerusalem was in ruins. And the people, the Jewish people, the remnants that had not gone uh, to exile, they were suffering. They were suffering. And so he had, he wanted to come and rebuild Jerusalem. He, he, he had the desire, God spoke to him, to come and rebuild the, the wall of Jerusalem. And by the way, it's recorded that Nehemiah built, uh, built the wall of Jerusalem with, within 52 days. 52, 52 days, wow, that's incredible. Our destination today will be at uh, Domitian Abbey. Domitian Abbey, that is where Virgin Mary, uh, that is the place where she died. It's called, called Domitian Abbey. So we are walking from Dag's Gate to Domitian or Domitian Abbey. Although she was not buried on Mount Zion, she was buried at the foot of Mount of Olives. I did a video about the tomb of Virgin Mary and by the end of this video I'll put a, a, a link the video that appears by the end you see click on it click on it because and uh, watch about the tomb of Virgin Mary there are so many verses of the Bible that, that mentions Mount Zion Mount Zion is uh, recorded in the Bible as the dwelling of God, the dwelling of God. Uh, let's read about Mount Zion. Psalms chapter 135, verse 21. Blessed be the Lord from Zion, who dwells in Jerusalem. Praise, praise the Lord. Psalms, Psalms 76. Verse 2, his tabernacle is in Salem, his dwelling place also is in Zion. Psalms 132, verse 13 to 14, for the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his habitation. This is my resting place forever. Here I will dwell, for I have desired it. Joel chapter 3 verse 17. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain, so Jerusalem will be holy and strangers will pass through it no more. Psalms 
Psalms 9 verse 14 that I may tell of all your praises that in the gates of the daughter of Zion I may rejoice in your salvation Isaiah chapter 52 verses 1 to 2 awake awake clothe yourself in your strength O Zion clothe yourself in your beautiful garments O Jerusalem the holy city for the uncircumcised and the unclean will no longer come into you shake yourself from the dust rise up O captive Jerusalem loose yourself from the chains around your neck O captive daughter of Zion or Micah 4 verses 6 to 8 in that day declares the Lord I will assemble the lame and gather the outcasts even those whom I have afflicted I will make the lame a remnant and the outcasts a strong nation and the Lord will lay over them in Mount Zion for now on and forever as for you tower of the flock hill of the daughters of Zion to you it will come even the former dominion will come the kingdom of the daughter of Jerusalem Mount Zion John 12 verse 15 Fear not daughter of Zion behold your king is coming seated on a donkey's skull Psalms chapter 78 verse 68 but chose the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which he loved. There are so many verses about Mount Zion. Please check about Mount Zion and we are heading to Zion gates Psalms 87 verse 2 the Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the other dwelling places of Jacob hallelujah wow and we are heading to Zion gates the Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the other dwelling places of Jacob. Psalms 102, 13 to 16. The Lord, you will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to be gracious to her. For the appointed time has come. Surely your servants find pleasure in her stones and feel pity for her dust. So the nations will fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth your glory. Continue to read. <laughs> Psalms 133. Psalm 132. 
see verse 13 to 16 the lord has chosen zion he has desired it for his habitation this is my resting place forever here i will dwell for i have desired it i will abundantly bless her provision i would satisfy her need i will satisfy her need with bread psalms 147 verse 12 to 14 praise the lord o jerusalem praise your god o zion for he has strength for he has strengthened the bars of your gates he has blessed your sons within you he makes peace in your borders he satisfies you with the finest of the wheat Mount Zion on Mount Zion there is deliverance Mount Zion that is the place where we are heading it's called Domitian Abbey look at how high the walls are Zion's Zion gates. We are not uh, lost. I won't just we see the. Oh, I think one time we walk through here. Yeah, Lampard's walk sent only a said at Citadel. Citadel, what? Wow, I think we need to do that. It's got its Zion gates. Sultan Suleiman, the magnificent, the 16th century. So guys, now we are heading to Domitian Abbey. It's called Domitian Abbey. Uh, Domitian Abbey. It's this one. Domitian Abbey. Domitian Abbey. The same place uh, we have the uh, King David's tomb. On this side of Mount Zion and we have the room of the Last Supper I did a vid I did two videos I have a video about uh, King David's tube and the uh, room of the Last Supper please check that, that out so we came from Doug Gates Doug Gates and we came all the way to Mount Zion Mount Zion Gates we are in August, the hottest month in Israel. So 
I'm sweating so much so <laughs> bear with me if you see my sweat <laughs> uh, so now here we are in a Domitian Abbey Domitian Abbey I'm from Kenya. Kenya. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna. Matata. Hakuna. Matata. Hakuna. Matata. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Love you too. Hakuna Matata, Kenya. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that that place is. Look at the building. La costruire, wow. la costruire da lui in stile this... molto europeo, molto art deco, molto eh, diverso da quello che c'è. On that side, we have the e... uh, e... King David's Stoop and uh, Room of the Last Supper. Today's video is Domitian Abbey. Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus, she just slept and she passed on, no suffering. That is the tradition. It's, uh, it's not written in the Bible, but the tradition says so.
thank you so much guys for watching the video i appreciate your time thank you for subscribing to my channel if you enjoyed the video please put a like give me a like <laughs> share the video let me know what you think about the video on the comment section and today about the place where virgin mary died it's not written in the bible it's a tradition okay so today we came all the way from Dungate. we climbed the mount zion we read so many phases of the bible about mount zion and i know you have more that you can add you can put on the comment section more of the verses about uh, mount zion you know i like uh, mount zion more than uh, mount sinai mount sinai you know mount sinai is a mountain where you have to do things you know you have to do this and you get this but but mount zion eh, it's a mountain that is full of mercy you know you meet you meet god that is full of mercy <laughs> i don't want to preach <laughs> let me do what i'm supposed to be doing <laughs> i'm supposed to take you on a tour on tours to holy land and i want to thank you so much for following me and uh, so that we can we can read the bible when you read the bible you visit the place or you step into uh, such places where the bible is written i think for me and for some people that uh, comment on uh, on the comment section they tell me that the bible is more more enjoyable to read now because you can see the reality you can see the reality of what is written you so guys i'm so excited that you're following me i thank you so much and uh, please uh, continue to, to watch the videos and hit notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you'll be able to watch it on time so guys i love you so much i appreciate your presence i'm grateful i'm honored and i thank god for the privilege uh, given me to be able to walk through Holy Land peace free thank you and please continue to pray for Israel for the peace of Israel and uh, may they that pray for the peace of Israel prosper that is what the Bible says and if you are a Christian and uh, you are a believer uh, uh, you have been commanded to do that you, ha you don't have any option <laughs> <laughs> I love you and I'll see you again in a few days time. It's Veronica. And uh, you can eat Jerusalem cake. It's called Jerusalem cake. Yes, it looks like a bread. How are but you Kenya? I'm good. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. How did you know Hakuna Matata? Hmm. Have you been to Kenya? No, we have friendly. Ah, I love, you, Kenya. <laughs> I love it. Too. So why why do we call this one a this cake? Falafel. But why is it called Jerusalem this is, cake? This is cake, not cake. Ah, cake. Cake. That means like bagel, like cake. Ah. This is cake. Ah. Similar cake. Similar. But in English cake, in Arabic cake. Ah, so it's in Hebrew it, bagel. Bagel, but in English cake, in a uh, Arabic. Kaik. Kaik. Uh -huh. Ah, good. Kaik. Kaik. And what's this? This is dates with turmeric and saffron. Right. Is salty or is sugary? Sweet. Sweet? Yeah. I want. Very good. I want one. How much is one? Only ten shekel. For ten shekel. Okay. Or put for me on a on a circuit. She's taking some pictures. <laughs> Lay me to the lock. That's all I
Thank you.